Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Train Sim World 2. And this is the final scenario on the London Bakerloo line. And there we go. Turn the motion blur off. And it's sort of like a nighttime evening sort of scenario. Uh, so let's get some cab lights. I want both of them. And uh, yeah, it's sort of like a nighttime scenario. Not sure if we're going to be going underground, but it is what it is. Look at that. And um, we are actually recording this in the full ultra wide this time. Um, I'd like to know your opinion on that. If uh, if you sort of like this sort of style of content, because I've been, I've actually been a. Uh, let's just do this quickly. So yeah, I've actually been um, scaling it down in the other videos, um, so that it's 10, eight, um, 1920 by 1080, so it fits on the YouTube um, player a little bit better and fits on your monitor a bit better. Um, but uh, I thought I'd actually do it in the full ultra-wide um, resolution and just see how it goes, see how people react. Um, because if, it, if people don't mind it, if they don't mind watching it with black bars top and bottom, um, I'll keep doing them. Not many people have an ultra-wide, so you know, you're not going to get the benefit of, of uh, seeing it in this resolution, but... If people don't seem to mind, it's easier for me just to record it like this and, and not scale it down. And you can see a bit more of the cab, which you couldn't do before. Um, so you're actually seeing everything I can see. Before, when I'd scale it down, you'd only see half of this, essentially. Or just, literally just past the, um, let's just coast it. You don't, you'd probably see just past the, um, the little hood there that has the speed and whatnot on. I might have to brake quite suddenly here. And yeah, we might be okay actually. Perfect. I'm getting good now. Now I said this is the end scenario for this uh, for this sort of route expansion, the London Underground Bakerloo line, um, and it is. But it's not the we've missed a scenario out basically. Um, there's a scenario called Calling All Stations, and basically it like the name implies it's calling all stations um, we can do that one but it's it's like a long it's a long scenario it's like 50 minutes at, the, at a push could be longer could be at like you know an hour hour and a half um, to complete it and for YouTube I just feel like that is that's a bit long to be honest um, editing that down you're gonna miss quite a lot out and I like to make videos sort of like 20 minutes long maximum. So, we'll see. I, I, I mean, I've done that scenario off camera myself. But uh, I, I basically opted out to record it because it did take a long time to do. So, if you want to see it, let me know. But honestly, we, we can move on basically from this... Uh, from this DLC because they've actually brought out some more of the preserved collection so it's not it's not the end of the world if we miss one scenario out um, next we'll be doing the East Coast way scenarios and then we might move on to the Tees Valley um, because they've actually brought those out now. 
as part of the preserved collection. That's perfect. And this is done. This one shouldn't take too long. I think it was it was something like 30 minutes which edited down comes to about 15 20 minutes at the right time sort of learned where to do it and like I said in the last one I am actively looking for more sort of London tube um, expansions um, sort of on the older train sim and there are a few They're, they brought one out not that long ago but they are updating that game the older train sim to train sim 2021 soon. I think that comes out on the 20th of September. And it's got like a Scott Rail um, scenario on it. It's also got a London to Birmingham um, scenario on it, which I'll definitely want to play that. So we can check that out. But uh, on Train Sim World 2 here, we're basically just going through them and uh, having a good time. Probably is a key binding for these, but uh, I just prefer to press them like that. Quite well, I think.
gotta go to Queen's Park, I think. That's the the last stop before we do this whole um cab switch and whatnot. Massively over the speed limit, but at least we're bringing it down now. signal in front of us is red so I oh, know it's just gone green it's just gone green so we can go down there okay here we go and lock the doors and I imagine we're taking it down there into that shed yeah we are It's been about going to a washer though, so might have to turn it around, I'm not sure. This is quite interesting though, this is quite cool. Taking it into the sh into the sheds. So we've got to put this to shut down, okay. So it's all the way to there and then I think it's just... Ooh. Parallel, we don't want that. Why won't it go to shut down? this to off and remove it there we go turn this to off as well and remove that so we're, we're gonna need it for the other side and we'll turn them off cab lights sweet and then we'll just put this to not in service and we'll put the the blind down to say, look, it's not in service. Oh, there's, there's still people on it. Okay, guys, you shouldn't be on there, but... Okay, we made it to the other end of the cab, or the train. So we're going to sit here, let's get some cab lights on. There we go. Turn that to on. Insert that and we'll put it to there. And then we can turn these to oh, release. Off and release. There we go. From here, you'll be operating an empty coach stock back to Stonebridge Park. Well, it's not empty, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay. Forward, and I can get going. It's not empty. I can almost guarantee you that. Um, I don't know why these people are still on it, but they are. They haven't gotten off.
but uh, they're not going to get a chance to get off now. We are not in service. Oh, seems like we've encountered a red light. Um, the other one that I went almost went past went green when I got close, but I don't think this one is. Oh no, just went green. Speed back up again. Next one's also red. I don't want to go too fast though past them just in case it does fail the scenario. So. If I get too close, I will slow down. But the other two that I uh, came close to obviously went green. So. That one's gone green as well. Nice. These people waiting for a service. We're not in service at the moment. It's like 11 o'clock. Tube's closed. Sorry people, but this is a this is a not in service train, unfortunately. We can open the doors, see if these guys get off. Okay. Oh, not sure. Looks so like you're coming to the train wash then. <laughs> I'm not sure whether. Let's have a look. We're going to the right place, but they're red lights at the moment. Don't want to. Um, don't want to go over them. We can request contact signal. Wait for signal to change. That's fine. There he is. Took his time. Now I think it, because he's running a passenger service, he takes priority. So now we'll be able to go. We're not in service, so technically we can wait. Our signal has gone green, even though it doesn't look it. It does say it's gone green. like these people are coming with us into the train wash <laughs> yeah I don't think the AI really uh, understood that this is a not in service train anymore like this is where we're going to be ending. I don't think there's any more after this. No, there's not. So, if you enjoyed, 
like, subscribe to catch all the latest videos from me. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.